Hello, everybody. So now we're officially ready to start. So excited to have you all here. Hey, guys, uh, everybody on Instagram. So Pooja is with me, and uh, we'll be cooking live. All right, so Pooja, so tell us more. So thank you, thank you, uh, Lakshmi. I'll go ahead. Uh, hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Pooja Laputia from Chocolate Baking Studio, Hyderabad. Basically, I'm an act-free baking trainer and uh, a chocolatier. Later on, I turned my ways like I'm not doing only baking part and chocolates. I started with millets also. Started developing recipes with millets, how to make it more interesting and the way that it pleases us and we don't uh, lose lose the nutrition as well like nutritional value of millets and how we can incorporate that small seed into our diet so that it is uh, it is healthier for us it is useful for us or it's appetizing basically because many people like millets they feel like oh they yeah. feel like they are bitter they feel like uh, they are not tasty uh, how to convert them into apart from some khichdi, upuma, what else we can make. So there are a lot of options, lot of things which you can do. There are multiple, uh, multiple cuisine, like you can create global cuisine from millets. So, so that's Pooja for you. And those of you who don't know me on the side of the webinar, um, Lakshmi Sashadri, I'm the CEO founder of Mom Power 360 and in our community, we empower mothers of all walks of life, uh, from nutrition to fitness, to parenting, relationship, career, mindset, everything for moms. We are moms. I'm a mom of three myself. And uh, so is Pooja and everybody who's logging in here and here. Uh, so we're excited to do this session um, and just, like start cooking. And sometimes we need that extra push. And today with Millet, um, honestly, as I was saying earlier, I'm not really used millet as much. Um, so I'm always kind of, you know, it's like you're, you're in this pattern and you keep doing the same thing. So I'm like super excited to be doing this session with Pooja. And uh, I've cooked some millets. I never tried it, so I'm excited to see how it will taste with the um, magic of Pooja, uh, you know, sprinkling all the delicious goodness in it. So yeah, so go ahead, Pooja. Yeah, we are going to start with the uh, one pot meal first because it is going to take little time. All preparation has been done. Recipe notes already been given to you people. So you can check your recipes if you are cooking off like along with us. It's good. Even if you are not doing it along with us, you can do it later on. Going to show the process. All ingredients are ready with me. So it's a quick meal. Let's see how we are going to prepare. Now I'm shifting the camera to the counter. I'm uh, starting with the one pot meal. Uh, can everybody see this counter? You can see lots of uh, chopped vegetables and then you can see this millet, like it is barnyard millet I have soaked. So what is important for a millet, uh, it is really needed that we soak it properly and uh, we soak it for a few hours. Few hours like it is going to be six to eight hours. So what we did, we washed the millet unpolished millet we have picked we washed it uh, three four times cleared the dirt and uh, we soaked it for six to eight hours okay so now it's ready with me and here you can see uh, this is a uh, moong sprouted moong so you, if you wish you can use the split moong dal as well so if you see this millet then i have moong dal i have lots of veggies in this plate uh, like rainbow colorful vegetables you can see here so we are going to start with this quick meal, which is wholesome. And uh, believe me, it is going to be tasty as well. So uh, I'm going to do it in cooker. So mm -hmm. what we are doing here, taking oil, first of all. Uh -huh. All the ingredients have been mentioned there in your recipe notes. You can check it there. So yeah. I have added Pooja, what kind, oil. What kind of millet was it? It's barnyard, which I'm using. Okay, somebody asked if it's okay to use a different kind of millet for the same recipe. Yeah, it's completely okay. But if you are starting with the millet journey, you should use either little millet or barnyard. They are uh, suggestible to start your journey with. 
it is lighter on your stomach so we start generally with barnyard or uh, little millet or foxtail also you can start with but mm -hmm. we take kodo and brown top a little later i see in okay. our diet so they like two days you are to use barnyard then another two days you can use little millet or another two days foxtail to take the maximum benefit and there is a one rule which you should follow the rule mm -hmm. is you mm -hmm. should eat one millet a day you should not uh, combine multiple millets not nice. at all that you feel like okay we should take the benefit of all millets no mm -hmm. we should not because one is cleansing your colon and one is cleansing your blood vessels one is cleansing your uh, uh, maybe another blood cells or uh, your intestine so you, what should you do you should uh -huh. use only one millet a day here i was thinking to use only jawar today but i wanted to show you positive millet also so i am using two millets today one jawar and uh, the second one is barnyard but i am suggesting you to use one millet even two three meals you are having in a day you should use only one millet and the guidelines which i am telling you are from research paper of mr khader wali he is the millet man of india because of him i got inspired and i started this journey so this is a cold press oil which i am using now uh, what i am doing see this is mustard seeds known to everybody uh, cumin seeds jeera okay i have few red chilies cinnamon stick uh, black pepper uh, indian long jisko ki clove bhi bolte hain then we have bay leaf and uh, badi ilaichi or black cardamom also we can uh, we can uh, uh, call it so here what i'm doing just i have taken everything and here i have green chili and uh, ginger paste uh one of the question was which millet is good for weight loss um maybe all i all millets could... will help you exactly so i was about to add on that anything with fiber will help you because when we eat any food it converts to sugar so the more fiber you have in your food it slows down the process right so definitely having a lot of fiber in your food and combining with movement so that you know you're working out you're going at least for even for like walk and the best trick is as soon as you finish eating within like uh the first 30 minutes if you walk it gets it out of your system and that's something that i was uh, implementing during um my pregnancy um as i had the stage stational diabetes and i would see my numbers So the numbers would be really well every time I ate and walked, versus every time I ate and I sat down to watch something. So check it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I have added all the vegetables and uh, sprouted moong. If you wish, you can add split moong as well. And mm -hmm. here now going to add turmeric powder, mm -hmm. coriander powder, that is dhania mm -hmm. powder and haldi. now i'm going to add a uh, little red chili you can skip it also because we have added green chili paste as well or you can add both in moderation okay mm -hmm. and now i'm adding one more thing uh, these are green leafy vegetables like uh, i have used spinach and methi and mm -hmm. here finally adding this okay putra uh, mohita wants to know if Uh, you mentioned foxtail millets pardon uh, i think it was the barnyard uh, yeah i use barnyard yard. yes so here i'm using water and more water and i'm using the water capped in the copper vessel mm -hmm. why so because uh, uh the water which have been stored for few hours in copper vessel is has got antibacterial mm -hmm. uh but like it is it is antibacterial so it helps you for the good digestion mm -hmm. and uh, it is also been suggested by mr khader uh, wali only that you should cook in the water which have been stored in copper vessel for 6 uh, to 8 hours Mm -hmm. so it is for the maximizing your benefits from 
your meal if you wish you can use regular water as well but why not to utilize all the tips given or all the tips followed by uh, our ancestors also you also must have seen many people drinking uh, water in the morning uh, which was stored in the night in copper vessel yeah. okay so we can follow this aapne dala hai white color wo kya hai barnyard millet no no acha acha last millet dala hai ha last millet dala hai okay i think i can we are karuna ji right yeah yes that was karuna correct <laughs> yes yes yeah. yes she she is a enthusiastic lady she is an sbi manager 60 plus but bakes perfectly cooks nicely she is multitasking that's wonderful thank okay. you thank you <laughs> <laughs> here i have salt okay i have added salt and now just stirring it and keeping it aside like i'm standing it in my kitchen uh we will be taking uh, two whistle after that two three whistle uh i made one mistake i tell you what happened i added barnyard right now you could have waited i have mentioned in the notes in the last whistle we are to add it okay mm -hmm. but still it's fine i have added it now going to take two whistles okay and later on we will give it a tadka again of uh, some uh, curry patta and hing so i'll be doing it later on and uh, taking two whistles on the guest we will be completing it after few minutes okay mm -hmm. till then we are taking recipe number 2 that was our uh, meal salad or jawar salad so how i am making it uh, want to show you uh, now i'm going to start with the next recipe uh -huh. okay so that we can talk to people if they have any questions we will be able to uh, answer those queries mm -hmm. so puja jawar ka thoda स्पेशल मिलेट से मोटा होता है कौन से मिलेट से जवार तो थोड़ा स्पेशल मिलेट चाहिए जो फोर मिलेट है ना उससे थोड़ा मोटा होता है जवार से हां जवार थोड़ा मोटा है ना भूख बढ़ता है नहीं जवार मतलब यू अब यू मीन टू से द ग्रेन इज थिकर और यू आर सेइंग दी वेट ना ना ग्रेन इज थोड़ा लिटिल बिट थोड़ा थिक है Yeah, it, right. it is a big. Yeah, it is like a pearl. Uh, I yeah. would say it is the almost of the size of a moong itself. Yes. So it is that only. I have the. Uh, I guess it is complete. It is visible in the camera. This is our uh, jamar, boiled jamar, and I have parted it in two. I will be showing the second part as well, like what I have done with that. So I have sold it. Looks like sabudana, isn't it? That, yeah, that's that's almost bag size. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I have no. soaked it for eight hours. I have taken twelve to thirteen whistles. Okay, how much I'm telling you? Twelve to thirteen whistles I have taken. Then I have added potatoes. If you want, you can skip it in the evening time, as I have skipped chana in the evening time. I have not mm -hmm. added chana. Otherwise, I have given chana in the recipe. In the morning hours, we use chana in this uh, salad. Okay, yeah. then tomatoes are there. Cut tomatoes like is here. We have chopped onions, uh, anar. Uh, apko anar. Uh, yeah, and now we have uh, cucumber also. If you wish, you can skip cucumber in the evening hours. It's completely up to you according to your uh, diet preference. And we have steamed sprouts. Like I have taken moong again because it is lighter on your tummy. So I have steamed it. So this is boiled. This is steamed, and these are. Uh, this is boiled and cut and these are chopped like fresh chopped so we have ready with us and for the seasoning of the salad and uh, uh, like uh, seasoning bole ya hum log bole ki hum ek liquid banane ja rahe hain for this so what we are doing this is the dressing we are going to prepare so i have taken indian tamarind chutney i have given the recipe there this is our green chutney Well, made with uh, coriander and pudina like mm -hmm. uh, mint leaves here i have salt i have used rock salt red chili powder that is also optional and here i have used roasted jeera powder okay the cooker with the blue grids now just mixing everything together okay and now in a bowl going to mix all of these here 
Puja, can it's you tell the audience why we don't use chickpeas um, in the evening? In the evening hours, it is uh, basically chickpea gives you bloating. So mm -hmm. what happens in the evening hours, personally, if you ask me, I avoid eating it. Even the dinner time has exceeded for me. <laughs> I'm just sharing one thing. Generally, we have our dinner before seven. So mm -hmm. If you are not having it before seven or six, I'm just suggesting you, okay, chickpea you can avoid in the evening because uh, it it causes bloating. So I have not used it. Maybe if I'm making this meal in lunch, I would have used uh, uh, chickpea as well because that really adds good protein and uh, fiber also, good protein also, and um, uh, it makes it tastier as well. Yeah. So here we have our salad ready. And now there is one more thing about the salad. You know something? You can one, one minute, Puja. You are cook 12 to 13 hours. That means we go ke rakte, na? Nay, eight hours and 12 ah. to 13 whistles I have taken. Achya. Or water level water kidna dena hai? You are is well, almost uh, two times of it. Okay. So it does it take to one cup of water. Or millet me kitna dena pata hai? Millet me pani? Millets we cook simply outside only. Uh, in uh, I have given the notes. If you check here, I have given the complete process. Yeah. Okay. I yes, have yes. cooked it in clay pot for 15 to 20 minutes. You can put it in steel vessel also. Okay, if you don't have clay pot, but uh, cooking it in clay pot at slow flame really gives you good flavor and uh, preserves all the nutrition. So this should not be uh, painted or wet something. It should be raw, that clay pot which you are using. So if you will be checking your notes, it's completely clear how much water you are to use and how much time it is going to be, uh, it is going to take for your uh, cooking. Like millet okay. is going to take soaked millet almost 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Open vessel cooking you can do, and you can replace your rice wherever you are using with the millet. Okay, thank you. Okay, and see, the salad is ready. One more thing, I wanted to add some glamour to it. So here, what I have done, did you see the pearl, jamar pearls, or this jamari boiled jamari is looking blue in the color, like blue pea flour. I have added to it. What what is that again? Blue pea flour. Blue pea, Shankar Pushpi, Aparajita. Is it chia okay. seeds? No, 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 no. They are uh, blue pea flour. I show you the flour as well. One minute. So How I many have added put... for this natural blue color, and it's How really good for given? your mind. Pardon? How many flowers? Eight to ten flowers. Okay. And yeah, they blue. are available oh, dry on cool. Amazon as well. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I have a plant, no problem. I also yeah. have plants, yeah. but I yeah, didn't you have, have much today. So I, this is this is the blue pea flower. Okay, cannot see very clearly, but I got a. How does it taste? Push. What is it similar to? I share a link. This is yes, Hinduist living. Hinduist living to the Shiv Bhagavan. Yes, yeah, Shiv Bhagavan ko we offer it. Nice. Okay. So no. here you see this uh, salad is ready. Now what we can do, uh, okay, we can plate it as well. Mm -hmm. So here what I'm planning to do is what we can do. Okay, uh, one more thing I wanted to discuss about the salad. You can eat this salad warm as well. You have mixed everything. Okay, now take a tawa or uh, any vessel and mm -hmm. you just sort it with little water and you mm -hmm. can eat it warm as well you can serve it warm and trust me it it is very tasty uh warm in fact rather than cold you can eat it warm mm -hmm. just on flame add little water sort it and serve it and eat it in your uh, evening meal so up jab din mein lunch mein kha rahe hai, you eat it cold in the evening i suggest you eat it warm it is nutritious and tasty as well Hmm, okay, here you see I'm just plating it hmm. now and few of here. 
पूजा कैन वी यूज बॉइल्ड राजमा एंड स्मॉल पीसेस ऑफ पनीर आल्सो यस यस डेफिनेटली इट विल ऐड टू योर प्रोटीन पार्ट ओके वी कैन यूज इट्स वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट थिंग इज लाइक कीनवा सैलड एंड आई डू व्हाट दी दी जस्ट मेंशन लाइक आई पुट लाइक ब्लैक बीन इन देयर a boiled black bean and it tastes so good and i mix it with fruits so i add in whatever fruits i have like whether it's mango pineapple and just that the different textures it tastes so amazing so that's you replace my... next time your quinoa with millet mm-hmm. or indian millet no you know way that sounds like you know last night i'm cooking my husband's like hey, you're making so much i'm like yeah i'm very excited i'm going to try different things so i'm going to test it on him tonight फॉर like uh, what moms can do apart from this salad and trust me this salad your kids are also going to like it because my kids are liking it they are fuzzy but they are liking it and one uh, like indian chaat type it is because we used uh, uh, imli ka chutney hara chutney so little bit of you know this uh, bujiya if you wish you are uh, not uh, bothered about a little fried thing into this uh, salad so mm-hmm. little bujiya you can top it with okay mm-hmm. and here in this glass also what we can do we can fill little salad like a little amount of the salad and it works as a good appetizer for your parties yeah that blue p one bowl it's here only okay okay so here so few like you know making using natural colors uh, natural ingredients you can look you can make it look more appetizing yeah here yeah, i, i have some sesame seeds and peanuts also okay hopefully it's sesame seeds and peanuts to eat that right just make it look nice and colorful okay and here i have lemon juice again see i'm adding it here could you zoom in a bit like get the yes i have try to zoom or in maybe bring so it you can it. check the color change of jawar Yeah. TLD just suggested that you could use a, it as a pani puri stuffing as well. Yeah. So very oh, wonderful. Yes, it can be done. A good idea for us. Yeah. Um, but one of the ladies had a question about the flower. Can can you use any other color because you you get uh, the flowers in white as well? To my knowledge. Yeah. Order. So white will not turn good. Uh, the color is white already. So what you can do, you can use hibiscus flower. hibiscus okay. flower you know you people know gudhal ka phool jise hum bolte hain hibiscus you can use and uh, hibiscus is going to uh, give a good pink color to your uh, greens mm-hmm. i hope it's visible yeah yeah looks really good so the color change also can you notice in uh, jawari like blue and purple it has become yes mm-hmm. yeah So quinoa, and look at I mean, this glass. This glass also looks so appetizing. Right. That so looks this was our salad. Uh, yeah. Now and I can keep it apart. Wait. Yeah. And how long yeah. did it Because take you? Maybe twenty minutes to whip both these things off. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. It it was quick uh, because boiling we have done beforehand. So a little preparation is needed from mom side. Like okay, let it soak for some time. Plan it a night right. before or uh, a day before so you can make it in uh, you know less time and a wholesome food. You can eat it and you can give it to your uh, family as well. A healthy right. mom always a healthy family. Like 
not only you eat healthy make your family healthy and i think i should say you are already making your family eating healthy you yourself also eat wholesome and healthy food so what i'm doing here i have taken a tadka pan and i have heated little ghee so ghee is there now adding little jeera mm. and the other important thing which is to be added is hing one second okay so i'm adding hing to it okay it's really good for digestion and here few curry leaves hmm. okay and anything else also if you want to add uh, anything else means uh, like a uh, little red chili powder also you want to add again you can add okay here it's ready with me red chili powder if you really want to add you can add so now this ghee tadka is going in okay and here you can see tamarind water is there yes so uh, it's completely up to you how you want it if you want it uh, with some lemon juice you can do that way if you feel like no lemon juice i am happy with the uh, uh, tamarind uh, i'm okay with tamarind as well so this adds really good punch to this meal trust me try this this way try adding tamarind if you don't have any rice uh, like a restriction diet restriction you can use tamarind and uh, because we are to end this live as well but i can see this is you know a kind of uh, thicker so i would like to be the consistency on the uh, lower uh, on the liquid side so what i'll be doing i will be adding one more glass of water for my needs because i don't want it this stiff i want it little uh, uh, you know khichdi type a little runny so i'll be adding little more water to it but for now i'm plating it okay so this this is our millet meal wholesome meal ready with us and i enjoy it more with few crunchies on the top so what are those crunchies one second i'm just adding a little sarka again on the top and here are my favorite crunchies which are peanuts and sesame seeds roasted peanuts and sesame seeds so now it is also a complete wholesome meal and peanuts add extra crunch to it and this is tasty now tasty and ready you can eat thank you so much pooja and uh, thank you sudha for organizing this for us and thanks everybody for joining in um now i'm like i regret not having cooked with you but i guess i would be all over running around uh, all the recipes yes uh, <laughs> thank you so much and uh, i'll see you all guys soon in our next session and thank you pooja everyone good night for page go to bomb power 360 and uh we'll we'll connect soon bye guys